Welcome Doom fans to this new tutorial series where I will teach you all I know about the GC Doom Builder. Ignore what I called it the first episode because this was recorded last. In the Builder I will exclusively work in the UDMF format, which some of the things are the same in Hexen format. Users of the original Doom Builder 2, which usually used the Doom format, will not be able to follow me in this series. If you want to follow me through this series, you will need the following. The GC Doom Builder, which is an offshoot of Doom Builder 2. You can find it here, link is in the description. I also suggest you get GC Doom, a modern loader for playing Doom maps on modern, modern computers. Again, link will be in the description. You will also need your own Doom or Doom 2 WOD file. I will be using the Doom 2 WOD, but there is almost no difference for our purposes. It's up to you how you get it if you don't have one, but Doom 2 is on Steam and does not cost much. There is a program called Slade that is not required for this exactly, but if you want custom sounds you might want to pick it up here. Link, well. You know that by now. I will not cover cover how to install any of these programs. I will leave that up to you. Apart from Steam games, the programs in questions, though they should be safe, if you followed my links, I suggest you scan the download file with your virus program of choice anyway, in case of what I saying being wrong. I will not held accountable for anything you download to your computer, so progress at your own risk. Also, Windows 10 users might get a warning when starting the programs for the first time, as they are not official apps, but just choose to go on anyway. As of February 2017, all this works as advertised. If you're watching this from the distant future, things might be different. So. With no further ado, let's get started, shall we? Follow me to chapter 1.